I should have bought a jacket because it's cold out. It's probably like 55. Uh, oh man, I'm back. I'm back in the US, baby. How you what is your name? Come on, son. What is your name? Tuo nome. What is your name? I just touched down from Tokyo about, I don't know, six hours ago. We were in the air for a total of something like 23 hours. From Bangkok to Tokyo was six hours, and then from Tokyo to here is like 14 hours. Right now it's 2.30 you know, a.m. and I'm, I'm amped up. I barely feel the cold right now. I'm just, because my, my body thinks it's like, probably like 12 p.m. So I'm ready. Uh, everything's closed though. My nipples hurt, it's so cold. I meant to make a video about Bangkok, but I just wasn't up to it when I was out there. Um, what can I say about Bangkok? <sighs> Bangkok was very dirty and Kind of smelly on the street. No, all right, all right, it was very smelly on the streets where we were staying. And this was like downtown. Uh, dirty, smelly, a lot of poor people. And I don't say this in a negative way because it made me nostalgic about Haiti. It made me feel good for some reason. I was like, I felt comfortable. Um, even like the weird smell, seeing the street vendors, like delicious food very nice people a lot of people also trying to take your money uh angry tuk tuk drivers trying to rob me and shit which i will probably talk about in the future at some point uh definitely yeah very kind a lot of australians and expats out there i'm um, really chill uh drunk australians we were hanging out with Whew. we didn't get to see that much because of the death of the king um it was really difficult getting places and it was just a weird time to be in that country but at the same time it was a, a beautiful strange thing to see a person uh affect the country so much in his death I mean, he died, I think, about a month ago, and I think the, the mourning will continue for about another month, but this has affected every industry in Thailand at this point. I mean, it's like drinks aren't served until a certain time. Some days there aren't drinks served at all. Uh, like I said, traffic was affected by it. There's a bunch of like political stuff that's going on. Um, people would tell us all the time, don't talk about it. Don't talk about the king when you're in public um, because it's such a touchy subject. So our, our, we were fine. We stayed in the hotel most of the time or just in that general area, eating, drinking, hanging out um, with, with some of the expat population. It feels good that I'm gonna get to work again, make videos a little more consistently, uh, hop back on some of these projects that I haven't been able to touch in a while. But not just that, but um, it's not just that, but there are, but look how empty this street is. Fucking empty. Uh, there are a bunch of things I need to catch up on. TV shows, books, uh, movies. Oh my God, there's so much I gotta catch up on. So I'm about to go to this diner down here. This beautiful, amazing diner. And while I'm waiting on my food, I'll tell you guys some of the stuff that I'm looking forward to reading and watching on TV, catching up on, and then I'll let you guys know what's gonna be coming up on DSC over the next uh, few weeks to a month. It's things that you can kind of look forward to. How you doing? So the main thing I've been looking forward to is uh, Black Dog, The Dreams of Paul Nash, a new book by Dave McCain that just came out. It came in the mail today, and uh, this book came out very recently, so I'm excited to read that one. Thank you. <laughs> in terms of shows, this is the big one. I got Westworld, Divorce, Insecure, Luke Cage, I gotta finish that. That's four shows so far. The big one. Let's not forget the big one, Black Mirror. The latest season of Black Mirror just came out. I haven't watched any of it. I haven't read any spoilers or any of that stuff. When I do watch it, 
uh, which is probably gonna be within the next few days. I'm gonna try and do a write-up or some kind of some kind of video talking about the whole experience. Uh, I'll resurrect Dom Diggs for that. In terms of movies, there's the one that there's one that just came out called Moonlight that I've been hearing about. Uh, it's got that dude from Luke Cage. It's, it's about like this dude. I guess his life is told in three stages, and different actors portray him. Yeah, so I really, really want to watch Moonlight. I might be seeing that this uh, this Sunday. Oh, oh shit! Nice colors. Okay, while well, I'm freezing my nuts off. Oh shit. Okay, while well, I'm freezing my nuts off. I'll tell you guys about what's coming up on DSC. Uh, first big thing, Titanic Sinclair interview. You guys know Titanic Sinclair. He is uh, the director of all those Poppy videos. Um, I don't know it if it's, it's correct to call him the brainchild of all that stuff, but I mean, I'm just gonna say that. The dude's a genius director. I had an hour long interview with him. That's coming out very soon. Um, what else? I have this animated Batman short that I did. Uh, it's a very lightly animated thing, similar to the Alexa video, but I did that with a comedian named Zach Toscani out of Portland, Oregon. Really funny guy. You're gonna like what we did on that. Um, so that's coming up as well. The big one, the big, big thing is the Neil Gaiman interview. That's gonna, I'm, I'm thinking of maybe a month that's coming up, because it's gonna take a lot of work. I'm gonna do it like, the, like I did the Max Landis interview. Uh, Max Landis, by the way, he's a New York Times best-selling author now, American Alien. Max Landis. If you haven't watched that interview, just click here, whatever the fuck. Go watch that. That was a good interview. Uh, so yeah, Titanic Sinclair, Neil Gaiman, Batman. Uh, some secret projects I can't really talk about. Good shit. You know, we're gonna hop on Double D's again. Uh, since we haven't done that in like two or three weeks or something. Besides that, all right, I'm gonna eat the steak and cheese and watch Westworld, catch up on shit. If there's anything else that I haven't caught up on that came out recently, I wanna know. Let me know, you guys. Every time you guys tell me about new shit that comes out, I do check it out. So thanks for watching, I'm glad to be back in the US. Shit's gonna be awesome here in these parts. I'm freezing my nuts off. This cheesesteak smells good. I don't know, I don't know, what, what do you want from me? I'm only gonna film. What I look like, a valet? Keep it, it's yours. Hmm?